In this one, let's take a look at evaluating a double sum. I have this double sum. So this is going to be my outer one. Say y goes from 1 up to, say, 3. And their inner one will look like this. Say x goes from 1 up to 2. And imagine that the expression that we want to sum up is x plus y. So how do we do this in some kind of organized way so that we get this some kind of answer reliably? A way of doing it, not the only way, again, A way is, okay, this is step one, step two. Basically what I do is I'm going to grab y equals one first, and then I iterate over the x's. So I'm grabbing the y equals one first because it's coming from down here. That's the lower limit on the y variable. Let me erase that smudge. So then after that, I iterate over the x's. When I say y equals 1, that means here in the expression x plus y, you put in the following. You put in x plus 1. I'm replacing y with this value of 1. And then I iterate over the x's. So x goes from 1 up to, say, 2. When I carry this out, it'll have this form right here. So it's going to give me replace x with 1 first. You add the 1, that's the value of y. Then you repeat that. You add again. Next, you're going to have the next value of x, which is 2 and you add the value of 1, like that. So let's simplify this when I carry this out. Let's see, this is going to give me here a 2 plus 3, which is 5. So that's the first step. We have to repeat this a couple more times. This is only for y equals 1. Remember, y goes from 1 up to 3. So then you repeat this logic as follows. Let me move over here to the other side so I can fit my writing. At step 3, basically, you then set y equal to 2. Over here, in the outer summation where it says y equals 1, 2, 3, that means you're going to go through a value of 2. It goes y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals 3. So over here, at this stage, I'm setting y equal to 2 for that reason, and then I iterate over the x's. So that means x still goes from 1 up to 2, because I made it up like this. The inner sum here is 2, and the upper value. So up here, there's a 2 present. It's a little bit small, but I think you can see it's still and then you replace y with this value, so it becomes x plus 2. So where I see y in my expression x plus y, I replace it with 2. I'm setting y to the constant 2, and I iterate over the x. So when I do that, I'm going to have the following here. Take a look. I'm going to have 1 plus 2 plus, and then after that I will have, of course, 2 plus 2. I simplify this, so this is 3 plus 4, which is then 7. Now, you really should pause the video and try the next one on your own. I'll do it, obviously. So that's step number four. These are my step numbers. I like to number my steps. I think it makes a difference in terms of how easy the work is to read. So step number four, I'm going to set y equal to three. And I am doing that, y, because up here, the upper limit for the outer summation symbol, as you can see, is three. That's why I'm doing that. So I'm setting y equal to 3, and then I iterate over the x's with that value of y fixed at 3. So when I do that, I will have the following expression now, x plus 3. And again, x goes from 1 up to 2, because we designed it that way. And I don't mean to mix things up, so here I'm going to write this as 7. Let's carry this work out. So now it's going to be 1 plus 3, and then plus 2 plus 3. Simplify that. So this is... 4 plus what? 5, which at the end gives 9. So I have all of these sums formed. Let me just highlight them. So I need this 5, I need this 7, and I need this 9. And then I can just add them all up, and that's it. So when I carry that out, take a look. The final sum. You take your 5. You take your 7 and you take your 9 and you add up all of these values. That's going to give you clearly 7 and 5. That's 12 plus 9, which will give you 21. Therefore, the value of the sum at the end is 21, just the way you see it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been truly helpful to you. Leave a like and I'll see you in another video. And remember that to get good at anything, you just have to practice, practice, practice. That's all. That's the key always. <laughs>